do you want to um as soon as we start the live stream i think live stream is now started when do you want to just quickly introduce yourself and then the topic and then we can have a detailed discussion okay i'm my name is wendy mann and for the last like 30 years i've been living abroad because i worked for the un food and agriculture organization which is based in rome italy mm -hmm. And I did work on um, in the Department of Resource Management. So um, water is close to my heart. Okay. <laughs> and I don't understand why they're for, you know, to raise rates. But I could not understand from the flyer what are the actual activities that they're going to be doing. You mean to justify raising the rates? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and you have the flyer in front of you? I should have it here. Let me just see. Yes, I do. Like this. Okay, okay. And what does it say for the water rates? Um, it has a table with like different sectors, not really activities. There's like um, non-residential irrigation, the meter, the commodity. And it gives um, what you pay now and then what the difference is. Okay. And what did it say for the water rates? It, it just goes up. I mean, I haven't really done the calculation of adding it, adding it all up. But it is a very important subject. I mean, not only here, it's like it's a worldwide uh, dilemma. Sure. Okay. And and uh, I guess what's your main concern? Um, I guess, well, I had all, all, already asked at utilities as as we're no longer in a drought, according to the U.S. Drought Monitor. Yeah. Um, you know the come on, and then that also triggered the state of California to release more water. So mm -hmm. that's you know the. That should have made the price come down, except on this table, the um, the commodity goes up, water goes up. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think in general, uh, I think the utility rates this year are being raised somewhere, somewhere between 9 to 15 percent. Um, you know, some are much higher. I think like the, the wastewater is like 15 percent um, and some are higher, some are lower. Actually, no, I think 15% is the highest, and then it goes all, and then some are, are lower. And um, what's interesting actually is over our utility, the, the cost you for the city for the utilities in general is dropping. So that's getting cheaper. Oh, but the, good. The, 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 the amount we're charging actually is going up. So so Ooh. the amount to the amount of money the city is making is actually the revenue is going up like this. Um, but the um but the cost is actually dropping. Oh, whoops, wait a minute. Here, if, if you want, I can share my screen. I can show you what I'm talking about. Here, let me, let well, me. Where is, where is the revenue coming from? Just oh, from. It's coming from the rate payers. Um, okay. Do you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. So this is the proposed budget. Uh, let me, let me go to that part. I'm gonna put it closer. Yeah, let me uh, see. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see it. And where was this from? Was this sent to us this in is a the, utilities this is, package? This is the city budget. So, oh, okay. okay. So I could show you, this is what it's costing us every year for the utilities. So you could see that in general, the cost to the city is dropping. Do you see that? See mm -hmm. how the yeah. red bar yeah. is higher yeah. than the blue bar? So this is the years, mm -hmm. right? This is, And then the amount of money that... Um, we're making so net sales. This thing is a terrible name. It's actually what we pay in utilities. That's what that's what net sales mean. It's just a very poorly poorly named thing. Okay. 
but but anyways, you could see that this is going up every year by quite a bit. It's a, it's a, it's it's the largest revenue source to the city, but it's also going up quite a bit. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so we've we've been raising the utility rates by every year, you know, several times the rate of inflation every year. So the rate payers, people like you and me, are paying way more every year than the rate of inflation. Mm. Um, so yeah, so you could you could see this, right? Yeah. So it's kind of contradictory, right? Because you would think that our cost, you know, if this one is going down, right? Our our cost right. Right, as a city is going down, that that you know our rates should be flat or or maybe even negative, right? But yeah. no, they're they're actually going up. And one reason why it's going up is because the city is running a deficit this year. So we're running about a $7 million deficit. And the way we are paying for that deficit is picking, taking money out of, our, out of our reserves, plus charging a lot more for utilities than it actually costs us to deliver them. And so we're basically taking money mm -hmm. out of our utilities and using that to fund our general fund and taking money out of our reserves to fund. So that's why- I knew you know, that. I knew that. Yeah. Yes, but but that- but, but that, I thought there was that case court, that, the, a court case that- Oh, it's green. Yeah. But, but then um, there was a ballot measure to continue the transfer. So even though um, Green won the case, um, the voters of Palo Alto agreed to still do the transfer of money from from our utilities, which is this, to um, to the general fund to make up the difference, to help make up the loss. It doesn't make up the loss completely, but it makes up some of it. I don't. I don't. I. It, um, it's hard for residents you know, to follow all of this because it's so illogical, a lot of well, it. And I mean... Yeah, well, I mean, what makes it hard is we have like 12 funds, right? So it's, it's like a big shell game. The money's flying all over the place. And so it's hard to even know what's going on. But basically, the main the main issue is that the city is spending more money than it makes. So if you look at... Let me see here. Um, well... Uh, and what are the costs? Is the cost personnel or is personnel, it? Actual yeah, I think I think eighty percent, eighty percent of the cost. So let me let me show. <laughs> yeah. Let me show you. Oh yeah. Okay. So um, so this is the city. If you look at this, right? So um, uh, let's see. Yeah. So if you look at how much each person makes, right? So like you can see each category, right? And this doesn't include the extra pension stuff that we have to pay down here. So, so the average employee is is two hundred ninety two. If you add this thirteen k, it's over three hundred thousand, right? Three three hundred thousand a year for the average person, the average employee at the city, oh right? Oh my god! Yeah. That's so if wild. you look at if you look at let's say, um, you know, the fire chiefs, right? Um, and this is basically the fire management. They are, you know, half a million plus thirty k, so that's about five hundred forty thousand dollars, right? Or if, if you like, you look, at, you look at the police <sighs> management, it's 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 almost six hundred thousand dollars. It's five but five fifty five k plus thirty three k, so it's about five eighty eight k, right? Almost six hundred thousand. How did this happen? Well, How did because this happen? well, because <laughs> because um, pretty much every year. We give a we give a raise that's way exceeding the rate of inflation, way exceeding right. So like this year, I think employees are are, are uh, in the proposed budget. We're giving them almost a six percent raise. This is at a time when in tech, right? People have gone actually a pay decrease. I think I saw in San Jose Mercury News, the average pay for tech workers has dropped about eighteen percent. So mm -hmm. tech workers are making eighteen percent less this year, but the, the employees of the city. Are are basically getting a six percent raise, right? Inflation is about three percent, so they're getting about twice the rate of inflation. At the same time, people in tech are getting laid off, laid off and they're getting pay cuts, right? So there's a there's a you know pay for in the private sector is going down like this, and then pay in the public sector is going like this, and so if you wonder why is our budget negative, well, it, it was not just negative this year; it was negative last year. It's going to be negative for the next four years as well. I thought we had that surplus, and you voted against. It, 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 you know, using the entire surplus, and even the city manager said not to spend it all, and they did. Um, the council what, decided. What, what surplus? It was a budget surplus. We haven't. Well, we didn't have a budget surplus last year. 
Uh, maybe the year before we had a bit of a surplus, but it's very small. Maybe it was the year before. Yeah, but we, we lost money last year. We're losing money. We're going to lose money in this coming year, and we're going to lose even more money. Um, uh, you know, you know, over the next four years, when we lose money. And why are we losing money? Because we're paying so much. Because we're giving. We're basically. I mean, it's a fundamental thing. If you're spending more money than you make, you're going to lose money. So we're giving. We're giving. Um, increases to to our employees which is the biggest expense for the city you know much much higher than our rate, rate of inflation and much much higher so if you look at if you look at the uh revenue for the city uh our revenue is only growing you know we're, we're growing the revenue for the city oh sorry uh let's see okay yeah so okay so um yeah so this this is kind of a a good um a good summary right so you could you could see the the different um the different um increases right um so you could see like the taxes and fine went up 88 percent right so that's way past rate of inflation um other revenue is going up quite a bit um you know some of the stuff is is you know some of the stuff has gone up um this this stuff is like from the state the state's broke so they can't really give us money right um but the, the main issue is that we are, you know, when, when, whenever we spend more money than we make, we, we will lose money, right? That's a, that's the bottom line. Mm. And, um, and personnel is, is a big chunk of our expenses right now. I can see that. That's, yeah. I mean, because my salary was based on U.S. civil service. And so, you know, people working in Washington, and we certainly didn't make the, this. I mean, that was oh, some years oh, ago. The, lo the local salary is is you know even in the private sector people don't, don't make this. This is this is um let's see where was that? I lost it. Um oh yeah here it is. Yeah this is extraordinary. I mean this is much higher than other cities. Much higher than yeah. I mean this this is these From are the average yeah. This is this is tremendous right? I mean I think the average Palo Alto family makes 180k right so this is way past the average poll to family um we have another this is crazy this is crazy oh, yeah it's really high it's really, really extraordinary high i don't yeah i mean it's not sustainable either i mean you're gonna have to do something <laughs> well, what, what, what they're doing is they're, they're draining our reserves and basically um increasing the utility rates because that doesn't need a vote of the people so it's easy to raise the utility rates that's, I mean, that I, I think that will start to sting though at a certain point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I think there's a misconception that everyone in Palo Alto is rich. And so, you know, it's yes, be, you know if we yes. jack it up another $150 every month. But I don't know. I know people in our city who are barely making it. And I think every time you jack it up, you make it less affordable and, and more and more. Basically, you start losing social economic diversity because um, it's forcing people from our city. And so I, I think... Um, you know, I, I would I be in that, that category. I would be in that category. Well, a lot also. of people, a lot of people in that category, <laughs> right? There are people, there are some people in our city who are extraordinarily rich, but yeah. the average person is not extraordinarily rich. And, no. but you know, these this these compensation levels are extraordinarily high, in my opinion. And a lot of the recommendations that they make on environment, they never look at the economic impact on the people that have to implement, you know, those changes. Like, you know, get a water heater where the water heater that they're selling, the electric one, is $2,500. Oh, it's, it's such a ripoff. Yeah. I, I know. Mean, it, I it, just, yeah, you I mean, know, I, and I, everything. I, I'm I think now. It, yeah, sorry, I, 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 I like the heat pump water heater idea, like te technologically, but it's yeah. so expensive. And also, you know, it only ben benefits homeowners, not renters. And yeah. if you look at the return on investment of, of how much it costs versus how much carbon it takes. A way better thing is just to help subsidize electric bikes. But the electric bikes they do subsidize are like these red bikes, which are like, you know, several thousand dollar bikes, right? Versus like the $500 Costco bike, right? I mean, I think we should just, um, I, th I think there's just this perception in Palo Alto that everyone's super rich. And so- Yes, every, there is that perception. Yeah, everyone, everything has to be super high end. And I just don't think that's correct.
But I think also also the city thinks that. I mean, you know, they think, oh, we can just, you know, sting them for this because, you know, everyone is so rich. Exactly. But there was an in interesting article about the disparity between housing prices and in family household income. And and the greatest disparity was Newport Beach, California, and the second mm -hmm. was Palo Alto. Yeah, yeah. So how do people cope, you know, if they have mortgages and stuff? I mean, it just bleeds yeah. them. So I don't know. Yeah. So is it worth it to talk about water at all, or to oh, you we know, can talk to about water, but it's, it's not just water. It's it's no, it's, it's I gas. Can see it's that. all it's all of them, right? It's yeah. It, that's the yeah. issues is that is that we're using our utilities to fund our our general fund we're using it to to give extraordinary raises when we can't afford it. That's what it's being. But used I thought to it was limited to a certain percentage after that case, that court case. Not if you, not if the voters approve more. <sighs> so there was a ballot measure the same year, and basically the voters approved more. We have another resident waiting, so it might be oh, okay. good to conclude the, the conversation here. It was great talking to you, Greg, and thank, thank, you, thank you for explaining the bed budgetary situation. Sure, of thank course. You. No thank you. Okay. And thank COA. Thanks, COA, also. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.